Someday it'd be great to do this without multiple tabs open, but I mean, Gemini's not gonna make me images of, uh, of humans, uh, but you know, this is real hard. So uh, uh, integrations, let's see. So we've got a smart collection here, writing the docs, all right? So we got integrations. It's giving you a little detail on the WordPress integration. Not that I'm a huge fan of the way the WordPress integration works, but you know, gotta support legacy. So uh, I go under here and under advanced for page details, we get an image. Now the image has to be used by something. Some of the themes use the image. Um, integrations, what would be a good picture for integrations? Um, okay, a, draw a phone switchboard where a uh, graph is plugging in the switches. Let's see if I can do this. I can't spell, obviously. All right, there's my bird from before, from Optimazilla. Uh, perfect, perfect. <laughs> really important, these images, you know. You're not going to look at the content of the doc site unless it's got great images, obviously. So, there we go. 500K, let's compress that down to nothingness. Sub 54, sure. I don't care if it has artifacts in it. All right, open it back up. There's our compressed giraffe. <laughs> and then we take our compressed giraffe. That's just a fun phrase to say, compressed giraffe. We drag the compressed giraffe over there. Save, collect our coins. And now if we go back to developers. Oh, documentation, my bad. Documentation, right, we see our giraffe, which is in the metadata for this. Um, the theme doesn't use it anywhere else. Now, <clears throat> ontology, there's a fun one, wow. Ontology, oof, oh, goodness. Um, produce a cartoonish periodic table of elements, but for animals, sure. I have no idea what that'll do. It'll probably nothing. But this is largely the really sophisticated workflow. Notice I'm not doing any of the work in hacks. Like that's kind of, the, oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cool. <laughs> All right, we're going with that one. Um, notice I'm not spending any of my time in hacks. Um, that's sort of the point of the platform to be perfectly honest. Like. That shouldn't be a decision tree where there's there's difficulty, right? I should be working in other things, being creative, potentially elsewhere. That's still that's too large of an image, but whatever. Um, just download it for the purpose of this fun little fun little jaunt. There we go. It's awesome looking. I mean, yes, and it's in the abstract. Yeah, like that's this is what. The documentation needs to be taken seriously, right? And so our ontology is going to get the treatment there. Now I could also upload it if I don't know, you know, about drag and drop, right? And so minimal time in the tool. Hacks is using a smart collection here. Whoops, I clicked the wrong page. Hacks is using a smart collection here. So a smart collection is a specially designed block that's actually able to query and pull meaning out of the site itself. So what you do with that, um, if you're familiar with like views in a Drupal context, is you point to a, uh, this is basically a query. It's querying the site to build cards off of the metadata of the site itself. Um, so for example, this is what it would look like if I was to save this smart collection um, and associate to another part of the documentation uh, which has to do with uh, the blocks and, and, and particular instructional question types. So if we cancel that, all right, and we've got this smart collection. The smart collection is going to update automatically as we maintain our documentation. So if we create a different category under here, this list will populate automatically. It's just a nice clean way to provide a preview into this material. Um, if we go under tutorials and block usage, all right, and then instructional and question types. We can see another smart collection used there, 
right? It's even brought in the tags from that metadata. If we go over to our community section and we do pillars, right? This is a smart collection with an image describing each of the pillars. So if you want to learn more about what does it mean to be platform agnostic, right? This is how we communicate that and move through the different aspects of the community. So just a fun little video as to how we go about updating some things. You'll see one of the advantages of a ubiquitous web is, is not having to think, not having to think about how we'll, we'll achieve the objective. It's just, you know, edit, put myself online and we're done.